Sixth question, name the type of quadrilateral formed, if any, by the following points and give reason for your answer. Okay. So they have given four points. We need to assume A point, B point, C point and D point. And we need to find the consecutive distances. And finally, we need to say from the values, from the answers, we need to say what type of quadrilateral they have formed. Okay. So let's start. Solution. Let a of minus 1 comma minus 2 b of 1 comma 0 c of minus 1 comma 2 and d of minus 3 comma 0. Okay, we shall draw a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a closed this figure which will have four sides. Okay, okay, and the naming and we have to give the name a b c and D. Either clockwise or we can uh, give in anti-clockwise. And don't forget, don't make a mistake over here like this. A, B, go by C and D. And A, B and don't give C here and D here. Okay. So this is the wrong way. Either go by clockwise or you can go by anti-clockwise. Okay. One second. Okay, and make the coordinates minus 1 comma minus 2 and B of 1 comma 0 and C of minus 1 comma 2 and D of minus 3 comma 0. Okay, and we need to find the distance or length of AB, BC, CD and DA using two point distance formula. Okay, first distance AB. So what are the coordinates A is minus 1 comma minus 2 and B is 1 comma 0. This is x1, y1 and this one is x2, y2. So distance formula AB is equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 that is 1 minus of minus 1 plus 1 whole square listen x2 is 1 formula we are having minus and x1 is already minus 1 so minus of minus is plus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 y2 is 0 minus y1 is minus 2 so minus of minus is plus 2 whole square which is equal to square root of 1 plus 1 is 2 square plus 0 plus 2 is 2 square. We will have root of 4 plus 4. That is equal to square root of 8. 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. That is for one pair, we can take 1 to outside. So 2 root 2 units. So this is the distance of AB. Take this equation number 1. So we found the distance between AB as 2 root 2 units. Now we need to find the BC distance. So distance of distance distance of BC. So what are the coordinates? B is 1 comma 0 and C is minus 1 comma 2. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. B is equal to write the formula each and every time write the formula. So this will not let you to commit any mistakes. Okay, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Substitute the values minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 is 2 minus 0 whole square which is equal to minus 1 minus 1 same sign so just add it minus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 0 is again 2 square we will have minus 2 whole square we will have even power so just neglect the negative value 2 square is 4 again 2 square is 4 sorry so we will have 4 plus 4 is root 8 under root 8 root 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 for one pair of two, we can take one to outside to root two units. Take this equation number two. And now find the distance. Okay, from the second equation, we came to conclude that the distance of BC or length of BC is 
2 root 2 units. We are getting the same value like AB. Now we need to find CD distance. CD. So what are the coordinates? C is minus 1 comma 2 and D is minus 3 comma 0. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Okay. So CD is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. This is nothing but root of x2 minus x1 that is minus 3 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 0 minus 2 whole square. Next step which is equal to square root of minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 2 is again minus 2 whole square we will have minus 2 whole square is 4 and also minus 2 whole square we we can neglect the negative value because we are having even power which means minus 2 into minus 2 minus minus will get cancelled 2 into 2 4 so root of 4 plus 4 which is equal to root 8 the value of root 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 nothing but 2 root 2 units Take this equation number 3. Again, we are getting same answer. 2 root 2 units. It seems like square. So, continue the work. DA distance. Next, we need to find distance DA. Coordinate of D is what? D is minus 3 comma 0. Minus 3 comma 0. And A is what? Minus 1 comma minus 2 okay so da is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is equal to root of this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 x2 minus x1 minus 1 minus of minus 3 plus 3 whole square plus y2 is minus 2 minus 0 whole square which is equal to root of minus 1 plus 3 different sign we need to subtract it and put the sign of the bigger number so 2 is the difference and the bigger sign is positive so 2 square plus minus 2 minus 0 minus 2 square again we are getting 2 square is 4 minus 2 square is also 4 we are getting root 8 again we are getting 2 root 2 units consider this equation number 4 so 2 root 2 units c a b distance is equal to b c is equal to c d is equal to d a don't stop here okay don't came to conclude that this is a square because if the length of the diagonal varies it become rhombus okay so we need to find the distance or length of the diagonals also don't stop your work after finding the sides distance you need to find the distance of the diagonals also because in rhombus it is also a type of quadrilateral uh, in uh, rhombus all sides are equal but the length of the diagonal is different okay it varies the length of the diagonal will vary but the length of the diagonal is equal in square okay in order to show it is a square or rhombus we need to find the length of diagonals also okay so we need to find distance of the diagonal ac what are the coordinates of ac look here a is uh, this point this vertex a and this vertex is c so the opposite cons non consecutive the line segment joining two non consecutive vertices is called diagonal so we need to find the length of ac and also bd distance we need to find BD distance and AC distance. So what are the coordinates of A is minus 1 comma minus 2 and C is minus 1 comma 2 minus 1 comma 2 yes minus 1 comma 2. So AC the length of the diagonal AC is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is equal to square root of this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 x2 minus x1 that is minus 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 whole square plus 2 
y2 is 2 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 whole square we are getting minus 1 plus 1 0 square 2 plus 2 is 4 square 0 square is again 0 4 square is 16 that is 16 we are getting plus or minus 4 negative is rejected why because distance that is length is always positive ne so negative is rejected so we will have four units consider this equation number five finally we need to find the distance of bd distance bd write the coordinates b what what is the coordinate of b 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 and what are the coordinate of uh, d the coordinate of d is minus 3 comma 0 so this is x1 y1 and this is x2 and this one is y2 so bd distance is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square this is the two point distance formula substitute the values minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 0 square minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 whole square plus 0 square we can neglect it okay again minus 4 whole square is also 16 we will get plus or minus 4 negative is rejected so we will have plus 4 units this is the distance of bd consider this equation number 6 c the length of the diagonal this is diagonal ac which will be equal to bd now we have concluded that from from 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 equation the sides ab is equal to bz equal to cd equal to da sides all sides are equal okay and also the diagonals what are the diagonals ac is equal to bd diagonals hence we can say a b c d forms a square this is square type of quadrilateral okay we need to find sides and also the diagonal we should not stop after finding the sides we need to find the distance of diagonals also okay so in this way we need to um, do for second subdivision and also for third subdivision we shall see the second subdivision in the next class thank you